Hey, welcome back to Woodworking with Wes today. It's Saturday and we're in my garage shop. Today we're going to build a fun and very practical little DIY woodworking project. We're going to build little square planters for our indoor garden. We're going to use some white hickory and black walnut and we're going to make little square boxes. They're going to be so cool. Let's get started. We're going to use our hickory for the outside corners. We've taken two pieces, an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter with a 45 degree edge. Let me turn it here so you can see it. And we've glued it together into an outside corner. We're going to go ahead and use this piece to make more of those. All of this walnut we've milled down to half. All of this is milled a half inch by the way. In our planer thickness half inch. We've made our little pieces of black walnut. We're going to cut them inch and a half wide. We've put a little chamfer bit in our trim router and we're going to put a little chamfer on each side so that it creates almost a little V groove and we're going to stack these little these little uh, pieces into the sides of our little planter box. So the first thing we got to do, rip all of our walnut inch and a half, chamfer the edges, make more outside corners. Let's go. To create our little outside corner, after we have 45 our pieces, we put the two sharp edges together and they've been cut at a 45 degree and we just make sure they're good and level and tight and we just put a few pieces of tape on them to hold them in place and then we put a length of tape, the whole length of our piece and we now we have created a little inside corner to glue and the way we do it is we just run a little bead of glue down the bottom of our trench and we let our tape be our clamp. It's clamping our outside corner and we just fold it in and we get a little bit of squeeze out. You can see the squeeze out coming and we don't want much. We, we have a need to have a little and then we'll just put a couple of blue tape clamps on here. We'll pull that corner together with our blue tape. You can see how that pushes the glue out, makes a little squeeze out all along the inside corner or the inside miter. Our outside corner is held together by our piece of tape that we put on the outside and so now we have our our outside corner all glued together with our blue tape clamps. While our outside corners are drying, we're going to go back to our walnut strips. We're going to give them a nice sanding with 80 grit, get them cleaned up. Then we're going to take our trim router with our chamfer bit in it. We're going to chamfer both sides of our inch and a half pieces. Now I had one piece that came out that wasn't enough to be an inch and a half. We're going to chamfer one side because some of our little pots are not high enough to have a full number of inch and a half pieces so we'll use this for one of the bottom pieces. But let's go ahead, sand, and route. One of the reasons that we want to sand before we route is first off so that we can determine which side has our best color. So we want to have our most walnut, dark walnut color facing out. And see we have some lighter pieces here, but we have some good dark pieces here. So we're just going to look at that as we sand. Here's a piece that has a lot of white, but it has a nice dark side to it. And we're just going to determine that as we sand and keep those edges facing up that we're going to put our chamfer on. We have our walnut all ready to go. All we're going to have to do is to cut this to length. One of the things that I talked about was taking my sanding block and sanding the chamfer. If you don't know what a chamfer is, a chamfer is just an angle router cut that with a router bit. It's just an angle and so it makes a nice angle, usually a 45 degree and we just sand it a little bit with the block sand in order to clean up the router. Let's go over here to the table saw. I want to show you what we're doing next. We have our router sled set up. Remember those corner pieces that we glued up. We have cut them to length and we've glued in a little block that will be the top of our corner because our walnut pieces are going to come here. We'll see that. But I wanted the thickness of the block to be only a half inch. So I set up a little jig on my router or on my saw sled and what I'm doing is I just take my block and I set it there. That gives me a half inch space here. I put the bottom of the block there and I cut that off and now all of my corner blocks have only a half inch top piece on here. We're going to go ahead and finish those off and then we're going to get ready to put one together. We 
have our side pieces all cut to size and we have to sand this inside edge before we assemble. Let's do that. We have cut our little walnut strips for, now we're doing this size pot right here. So let's talk about this. Our pot is six inches round. So we have cut some six inch sides and some seven inch sides. The seven allowing for the two thicknesses, half inch. We're going to nail this together in a little square like this. And we're going to nail three levels of this together. And then we're going to stack those levels inside our corners. So basically what we're doing is building a corner like this when we put our little together. Anyway, but let's get started by nailing our three levels of this together. We're just going to use inch and a quarter, 18 gauge brads. We're not going to glue this together because I don't think it needs it. You certainly could if you wanted to. We're going to give two nails to each corner, making sure that we keep it really good and flush because it's going to be tight on the inside of our corner bracket. I'm going to flip this over because I can see and hold it better. I'm going to make sure I get that corner just perfectly square. My bench is good and square or good and flat and so that way I keep my levels flat. There's our first one. We're going to do it times three. These final pieces that go in have been rabbited to accept a quarter inch bottom that the little pot will actually sit on. And so we are just going to nail these in like this. Okay, let's just go around and we'll just break all the corners. I want to have that nice square chunky look. So we're just going to break the corners like this with our hand paper so that we don't have any sharp, sharp edges. Go around to each corner, each edge, and around the top of our posts. And we'll finish that off in just a moment. But you can see what a cute little design that is. And our little pot, once it has flowers in it, is going to sit down in it just like that. Now we have three different sizes that we're going to make. We didn't need to watch us do all three sizes, but we're going to have three sizes like that. We're going to just put a clear lacquer on it and that'll make that black walnut and that white hickory show up so nice. This has been a fun little Saturday project. We've done it all in one day. You can too. And it's a great way to spruce up the plants in your house to make them look so cool and show off your woodwork. Just like we like to do here on Woodworking with Wes.